Hey guys, it's Rosie here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since my last testing new luxury video, so I thought it was time for me to give you guys a bit of an introduction of some new products I've been testing out for the last couple of weeks. If you guys are new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button, it's free, and hit the bell so you're notified every single time I post a new video. So some new products I've got is Summer Fridays, of course. I've also got some Used to the People products, and I've also got the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation I always wanted to talk about in this channel. So if you guys are interested to learn a little bit more about this product in terms of price, how it feels on the skin so far, or if you're just curious about it, then keep on watching. So since I have quite a bit of skincare products I like to share, I thought I would go through skincare first and then we can go through the foundation at the end of this video. So the first product I like to talk about is the Summer Fridays Light Aura Vitamin C and Peptide. It comes in this tiny little glass jar and this is how the inside looks like. So it's like an orangey kind of a color, kind of a creamy product. But this was gifted to me which I am super grateful and so happy because I've always wanted to try anything new from Summer Fridays, especially an eye cream that I love to use in my skincare routine. And I I've just ran out for my current eye cream from Ren Skincare, which has been my favorite eye cream so far until I tried this one. So I'm just gonna go into Summer Friday's website to let you guys know what this eye cream is all about. So this is retail for $42 on the Summer Friday's website and it comes in a 15 mils. So this is formulated with vitamin C and peptide to visibly brighten the eye area and support skin natural collagen production for a firmer, smoother appearance. It instantly moisturizes. It includes caffeine to help depuff, allantoin and vitamin E to soothe and natural optic to softly illuminate all skin type. So I've used this product for the last couple of weeks and I've noticed a few things. So first of all, it glides beautifully under the eyes, which is something I always look forward as an eye cream because I feel like I've tried so many different eye creams and I feel like some are too lightweight even though they're hydrating and then it absorbs very quickly into the skin I feel like it's not something that I want as an eye cream because I want something that is nice and creamy just like this one and the Ren one because it sits on top of the eye area and keeping your eyes hydrated and moisturized and at the same time it does have a little bit of like brightening properties which really help under eye looking refreshed, energized but at the same time hydrated and moisturized I also feel like this product only needs a very small amount under the eyes and I really like how they include peptide which is something that is great for like boosting your collagen production when you're smiling a lot you have these uh, fine lines so it's really great that they're very thoughtful about it and to help to prevent that so overall about this product you guys know how much I love summer fires and I feel like every single time they release a new product it's always amazing to me and this one is no exception this one is one of probably one of my favorite eye cream after the Ren eye cream so I definitely think that this product will continue to be in my skincare routine I wish this was available at Mecca but it is what it is so I'm very very fortunate to have received this product as part of a gift and I am super excited to continue using it okay next products are going to be from youth to the people these I've received as a PR packages they are vegan cruelty free and also backed with science I feel like it's quite of an expensive kind of a skincare brand but I've heard so many great things about their product especially their cleanser the ones I've received here receive many amazing reviews as well so I've been really curious about what they're like and how it feels on my skin even I heard that the Kenzin Balm is amazing which I've been wanting to try for the longest time and I hope that it comes to Sephora Australia also the clay mask sounds also amazing I heard so many great things from my fellow beauty bloggers as well on Instagram so I really really hope that I get the chance to try them out soon they are all available at Sephora here in Australia so let's go through this is the Yerba Mate resurfacing energy facial I don't know if I'm saying that 
right. Uh, but this is an instant microdermabrasion enzyme treatment. Sorry if I'm not saying all of these words correctly. And this is how the inside looks like. And when I apply on my hand, so it's a very creamy texture. And as soon as I massage it on my skin, I can feel this, um, these tiny little beads, I believe. For the full size, which is 59 mils, is $83. They claim that this is suitable for all skin type, including sensitive skin. It's to help with like dryness, dullness, uneven skin tone, and uneven skin texture. And if you guys are interested to try this product out, but are not ready to commit to the full size, um, it is also available in a small set, so in this size. So I can see here that you can get it from two sets. So the first set is called Sia Pore Skincare Set which comes with, with their kale, green tea, spinach, vitamin, superfood cleanser and that is retail for $44 here at Sephora. You can also get it in this exfoliation station skincare set which come with this one which I've also received. Together these two are retail for $44 as well. So I just wanted to give you guys my thoughts on this product and I'm being honest here with you guys that I love physical scrub, I love you know something that helps to exfoliate from the top layer of your skin but I felt like this one was too abrasive for my liking however I'll probably give it a try again. I do love the ingredients that they have put into this formula but the physical scrub that they use in this formula is probably too abrasive for me unfortunately. Um, I might use it for my nose if I wanted to because I feel like I do have a lot of like blackheads which I find that it has really helped with that. I do feel like my skin feels super soft after I use it. That's, that's just my thought on this product. Now the next product I want to share with you guys is the Super Berry Hydrate Glow Dream Mask. The full size is 59 mils. It's retail for $74 at Sephora. If you want to get the 15ml which is the mini size is retail for $23. This is suitable for all skin type including sensitive skin so this is targeted for dryness and dullness and it says that it's an overnight mask that deeply hydrates, plumps and brightens with um, THD ascorbate which is the vitamin C that is included in this formula also contains antioxidant rich super berries, squalene and hyaluronic acid. It also got glycerin, betaine to plump and seal in moisture. It also helped to repair dehydrated skin. And this is how the inside looks like. So it does look like a gel but also very creamy kind of a texture. I've tried this product a couple of times now and this is probably the product I've been reaching out quite a bit um, more than the others that I've received so far and I have to say that first of all I like the scent it's very refreshing I can't describe it it's it's yummy like a gum but at the same time it's it's not irritating for my sensitive skin um, I also feel like it has a bit of a cooling sensation um, every time I use it. Um, I'm not too sure what ingredient it is from. But I didn't know that this product can be left overnight um, because I find that it's so thick that it's gonna be rubbed all over my pillow and I probably won't be able to move um, while I sleep. So I not sure if I'm gonna try this as an overnight mask but I really really enjoy it as a rinse off mask so I leave it on for like 10-15 minutes sometimes I do it on my partner and then we just watch TV together and once time is up we just wash it off and I feel like our skin feels so hydrated so moisturized I also feel like there's a little bit of a glow as well after I use it every time I'm actually quite impressed with this product even though it's quite simple formulation but it's got very good ingredients that are beneficial to your skin so that's my thoughts on this one so far so last but not least i will be talking to you guys a little bit on this toner i was not able to try this toner beforehand if i do get the chance i'll definitely let you guys know in the description box below or you can always follow me on instagram because that's where i am most active and that's where i give you the most updated on things I'm trying. Okay, so this toner is also available at Sephora here in Australia. 
So the full size for this product is 118 ml and it's retail for $58. It's also suitable for all skin type including sensitive skin and it targets for dryness, dullness, firmness, elasticity, uneven skin texture and tone and visible pores. So it also says that it contains AHA and I can see on the list there's like lactic acid, there's glycolic acid, there's also glycerin. It's got really good stuff in this product. So there's not much I can say at this stage. So if you guys are wanting to try this product out, it also comes in two sets. So it also comes in that same set with the resurfacing energy facial, which is that set is retail for $44. You can also find it in the Dullness Skincare Set which is also retail for $44 and that one comes with the toner and the dream mask. Okay guys, last but not least, let's talk about the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. So there are 30 shades. There are a total of 17 numbers. I don't know how to describe this but this is as simple as I can get. So each number comes with like three undertones mostly comes in three undertones if I remember on top of my head um, so it comes in neutral it comes in cool and it comes in warm because I feel like from my experience as a store host at Mecca I feel like a lot of customers really like the neutral shades more than the other ones um, I do find that if you have deeper skin tone warmer shade might work a little bit better for you but if someone is quite fair um, I feel like the cool can work for you, but the neutral seems to work for all skin tones. So that's my, my tip for you guys. Now in terms of like the consistency of this product, this is how the product looks like on my skin. And as you guys can see, it is quite runny, but I still feel like it is quite of a thicker consistency um, and will give you a nice coverage. So if I spread on the back of my hand, as you guys can see, it is pretty full coverage. It does also say that it is buildable. Yes, it does because of the coverage it's giving on your skin. I feel like you can use more than two pumps for a full-up coverage. Um, unfortunately, I was not able to do a review slash wear test video like every foundation launches. Just because I bought this product quite late, probably like three to four weeks down after it launched at Mecca, it was probably not worth for me to do a review video because everybody's already getting other reviews from elsewhere. So I just thought it was not worth for me to do a whole video about it and you know, not having enough people to be interested to learn anything from me. But then I just thought it was probably worth for me to still include it in my YouTube channel in this series. So the beautiful skin is available at Meta and it's $65 for 30 mil and I feel like the price was marketed very well for this product because a lot of foundation in the market these days are in the high 70s to 80s and the maybe the most expensive one that I can think of are in the hundreds. The ones that people love as well from Too Faced for example, the Born This Way uh retail for like $50 if I'm not wrong $60 now so if the price are increased and I feel like this the price for this product is quite affordable and it can reach a lot of people but yeah I just feel like it's price in between which is good which will be attractive to a lot of customers if that makes sense I just feel like this is overhyped in a way but it's also a very good product my thoughts about this product is that first of all i really really like the coverage i feel that even though it says medium coverage i feel like it's still more coverage than the like wonder foundation ever since i've been testing this product i've been reaching out a little bit more because even though it gives more coverage but it still feels comfortable it feels like skin for example i had a wedding a couple weeks ago and i instantly reach out for this one because even though i wanted natural satin finish i feel like this one will still give me a long wearing and also a medium coverage I also feel like I can trust this product in terms of like it doesn't feel cakey it doesn't feel heavy I feel like it covers your texture pretty well and it works really well in most of the sunscreen that I use I am really really impressed about this product you should also check out my other video where I compare the NARS light reflecting foundation because I feel like these two products 
are the talk of the town at the moment and I feel like a lot of people are still trying to compare the difference between the two and which one fit the most for their skin type and for me personally for someone who has dehydrated acne prone and sensitive skin I feel like both products works really well on my skin type and I can't really tell which one I like the most honestly that is it for this video I hope you guys enjoy watching it if you found this video helpful it would mean the world to me if you like this video and also leave a comment to let me know what you found helpful about any of these products and also share with your friends and family if you think that they're considering any of these products or they want to hear more about these products make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more beauty contents like this one and hit the bell so you're notified every single time I post a new video that is it for me today I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys